Hey, Don here. Okay, so hiding behind the camera again, and I'm um, thinking I'm going to try running Kepersky, or Kapersky would be the right way to say it. I've always called it Kepersky. First time I saw the word, that's what I thought it said. I hadn't, didn't think about the name Kapersky. So uh, I run that on this Dell 1525 laptop, and uh, let's see. Well, my last video... I had it on autofocus and it kept trying to, and the lighting and everything is auto. Uh, it kept trying to make me show up in the refl my reflection show up in the the uh, menus that were white. They were just white. You couldn't see anything. So I'm gonna. I just left it on whatever I, it was. I, let me turn it on. <coughs> I haven't quite figured out what it does if you don't set it on something. Uh, okay, there's my. So I'm looking in my preview now to make sure I'm getting something that's at least somewhat uh, readable. Actually, from what I can see now, it looks pretty good, maybe better. It was also out of focus. It was not. Uh, it should have been. I had it on autofocus and auto white balance and everything, and but it wasn't working very well. So we'll just l uh, see what happens here. I went through all the settings, and well, generally it works really well. Way I have my open, it's called open camera. That's what I use here. Uh, it's a real good app. I like it. This is on a uh, Alcatel A845L phone. It's not a real high quality, obviously, but uh, for, for uh, $14.88, I think it's pretty good. Uh, but uh, the video is uh, the, the only 2.07 mega, uh, 2.07 megapixels. And the uh, still camera will do five megapixels, uh, but I am doing 30 frames per second, and uh, I'm going through these menus and talking, and I'm hitting the wrong one. It's not where I wanted to go. I want to go to the virus. This is Sardu uh, application that I used to build these multi-boot uh, Linux. It used to be CDs. Now it's uh, that's a CD on the front of the little man there, by the way. Um, used to be uh, CDs now, then it was USB sticks, now I'm using an SD card. That's an SD 32, 32 gigabyte SD card in a uh, USB adapter. <laughs> Worked out really nice. Formatted it. I had to reformat it to FAT32 because uh, uh, these most of these uh, USB building apps, it's really you know set up for CDs and USBs. And there's another procedure that you, if you want to put it in an SD card slot, I think you have to set it up as an SD card, bootable SD card. But in this adapter, it worked fine. I didn't know until I tried it. I just tried it, and uh, but I figured you know SD cards are flash memory, USB sticks are flash memory, so it should just matter what slot you put it in the computer, not what it physically is, we know whether or not it will boot right or not. So uh, they put the boot files and all, what all I don't know, in the different places. And, and it, well, it has to tell the machine what, what um, you for USB. It has to tell the machine what USB device to access. And when it's an SD card, I think it actually shows up as an SD, USB device in the. You like look at, if you're in Windows or Linux, if you look in like system information, I think it'll show it as a USB device. But anyway, um, on and on about that. Uh, I don't know. I can't really tell that this this to me it looks better than the last videos. I kind of reviewed them, and uh, and I'm I, you know I'm looking at a tiny little four inch screen here, but it actually looks like I'm looking at it with my magnifying glass now it actually looks to be somewhat in fairly well in focus and it was real out of focus and it was kind of going nuts trying to go between uh, you know the text that would come up on the screen and the different colors especially white there was a white menu with some text in it and it was just blur you know washed out and it but it was showing me you can see me back here reflecting out of the screen because I'm sitting behind the, the phone so we'll see if this is better <coughs> and uh, I guess we'll leave it like that okay so I hit enter oh and I'm this time if you saw any of the other ones I was reaching around here trying to control this thing uh, 
on the laptop and I kept shaking the laptop and and I kept going well why isn't why 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 you know why isn't my uh, keyboard working and I finally realized I didn't turn my, my keyboards on a KVM switch which uh, has four ports on it I can go to four different computers well I had it I had forgotten to move it and it was on my other computer so, so it don't work when, when you don't do that it's a USB keyboard USB KVM switch and uh, you got to switch it onto the one you want to control that, that helps a lot so uh, <coughs> okay boot from Kepper Sky I'm just gonna call it Kepper Sky because that's what I've always called it Kapersky Rescue Disk 10 graphic mode or boot from Kapersky Rescue Disk 10 text mode or the hardware info okay well I'm just gonna go straight into it with the graphic mode I like that one it's really kind of a Moog point now because I have scanned this with at least six other scanners and every one of them finds something different uh, infected Trojans and bad stuff to delete so I don't think it matters I'm just kind of want to see what happens here I don't think it matters what I find I think I'm going to reformat I've been meaning to reform my Linux system on this is a dual boot Linux Linux uh, Fedora 21 and Windows 7 and really the Windows 7 is the main reason it takes a long time to set up a Windows system, get all the apps on there that you want, and uh, so it's uh, mounting disk. Please wait. And so I kind of hesitated to re rebuild, you know, reformat. Uh, and uh, well, you wouldn't have to redo the Windows system if everything was okay with it. But anyway, um, I hadn't done it, and now it's Fedora 24 just came out, so you know I need to do it. Okay, operating system. It says operating system, Windows setup. Okay, so instead of like giving you, you know, some of these. Oh, okay. Some of these things give uh, when they ask you what you want to scan. This ask me what I want to scan. Some of them will say. Um, let me get my magnifying glass and see. It actually looks like it's showing a menu at least. <laughs> so maybe the balance, the uh, light focus is working a little better. It, um, okay, Windows Setup, that is, that would be what I have named the X boot drive because that's what I actually used to set that up. But I, it's my Windows Setup. I have a 32, get, uh, 32, fat 32 partition that's about 21 gigabytes that I put my Windows setup on there because the C DVD drive on this laptop is too slow and read gets a lot of read errors and I couldn't use a DVD to install Windows 7 or anything uh, that's bigger than all I had at the time uh, was two gigabyte uh, USB sticks and of course DVDs and uh, uh, so I couldn't do it with the, so I decided to uh, make that partition and also when I was done I thought well you know I can make it a little bigger than what I have to have it and use it as a backup and so that's what I did so that's uh, the name that it sees it as is Windows Setup and uh, what I don't get here is uh, I guess it automatically updated the virus definitions I hope so let's see rescue disk registry editor yeah it doesn't have anything like in here, it's running on some little Windows uh, Linux distro. I don't know which one it is. I've used I've used it quite a bit over the last few, five plus years, uh, but I hadn't until recently when I got these phones. That, that actually, there's a little app that I like to use to control the phones, and it's a Windows app, and that's what got me messing with Windows systems because I use Linux all day every day. So anyway, turned out with infections in this laptop and so all kinds of mess here um, but it's only giving you either or you can't pick them both so far well I guess I'll have to do them one at a time so I'm going to do Windows Setup first then I'll do my actual Windows 7 C it would be a C drive you know I was just in my VBA rescue uh, it actually it it named it named my Windows Setup my FAT32 SC and then my window my C drive named it as D and then the E drive, I gave it an E drive which was actually my uh, 32 gigabyte SD card in the USB slot. So they all do differently. 
really if you if you got a if you got a problem and you don't know what all that means then just scan everything that it can see they actually a lot of these don't even see if it's based on fedora it'll see your fedora system your lvms and everything and it can mount them but if it's on the bane or some other um, linux operating system or some other even op like dos you know dos operating system you know, dos dos you know dos dos trace then it can't see linux uh, op uh, file systems anyway so um, you couldn't use them to scan them but in this case uh, I'll let, you, I'll let you see, for instance, why I don't know, because it should be able to see the uh, SD card, it's FAT32. But all it's asking you if you want to scan is Windows Setup and Windows 7. So I'm going to say Windows Setup, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, now, okay, well, that's really odd. Now it starts mounting stuff. So uh, SDA1, SDA2, SDA3. Now then, uh, scan your computer, scan your computer for viruses, trojan worms, so and so, so and so. My update center. Okay. Well, disk boot sectors, good. Hidden startup objects, good. Now I'm going to go over here and look at these. I want to, well, let's go to the update center first, and then I'm going to go see what's in those folders and see what's what. Regular updates, Kepler Sky Rescue Disk, Database and Programs, Regular Updates of your Kepler Sky Rescue Disk and Database Program, oh yeah, well, of course, uh, it's important. It says database rules are obsolete, yes, yeah, so always make sure if it didn't say something like automatically update, make sure you do the update. So update now I'm gonna let that update shouldn't take very long really okay SDA1 I'm gonna figure is my backup drive that I was talking about yep that's my FAT32 backup drive and also I could use it to restore my Windows system only thing is with this whole system being so infected I wouldn't trust that this drive hasn't got infected too. I don't actually read. Yeah, I do. Re well, I remember things in my download. I put moved all my downloads there because I ran out of room on my regular drive, Windows 7 drive. Uh, put them all in there, but a bunch of stuff got infected, and it wasn't infected before I put it on here. So something got in here, crawled through, and uh, it's still updating. Still shows zero percent. I was like, what's going on? Something in uh, is crawling through the system, wreaking havoc. So nothing's really safe anymore. Um, I just want to see if Pepper Sky is going to find anything else after running five different, six different, actually six different scanners. I think I could almost name them off. I keep forgetting the names of them all, but a couple, of, two or three of them are new to me, and I got them. You, Sardu, I found them in Sardu, and it could download them for you. And that or Yummy. Well, Yummy's the other one I use a lot. I built two US. I have two USB sticks that I've had for years, and they're only two gigabytes, and they both have. I built one with Yummy and one with Sardu because they each find some different apps. You know, there's some different Linux virus scanners or Linux distros that one will have and the other one won't. You know, if I put some of my favorites on there, and since I was wanting to do virus scanning, some of these ones that were available now, but. Uh, See, there's a Dr. Webb quarantine, so I've done that at some point. This is this was what would be C drive, and it's the Windows 7 drive. Um, I don't remember doing Dr. Webb already. Must have, I did. It could have been a long time ago, though. I'm reading through the folders, seeing if there's any more. Quarantines. That that gave me an idea. I'll go back to that SDA one. That's how Linux names partitions. Um, drive partitions. Okay. Could be just a hard drive if it's got one partition, or it could be several drives on partitions on one drive. ACR logs. I don't remember what ACR is. Backups. Boot. 
Cam Studio. See, I've run Kipper Sky. Oh, that's from right now because I haven't run it on here before. I was actually thinking it wouldn't boot on here because I tried it on a couple of my systems this last year and it wouldn't boot on them. I think it might have been that newer Lenovo i5 it wouldn't have yeah, uh, that it wouldn't boot on. Where? Okay, VBA Rescue. That's the last one I ran. There's what it what what you might call the quarantine. They ended up they they had quarantine mentioned in their menu, but it actually when you read the log, that's the log file. It's long and in detail. They'll tell you everything. It uh, they call it backups. It, that's where it put them. And some of the other scans might have made folders, and I may have deleted them. Okay, so now we're at two percent. This is going to be a slow update. Looks like. If it's going to take real long, I'll stop my video and start it back up. Okay, SDA3, this is going to be my uh, my 32, I mean, all these 32s, my 32 gigabyte uh, SD card that I'm running my live system off of. So, it has an EFI folder, which don't need that. That's for Fedora. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have two Fedoras on the... Uh, 24 won't boot, but 23 will. I just thought I'd try 24. It wasn't in the Sardu list. It was actually 23 was the newest thing they had listed. EXT Linux. I don't know. Maybe that's... Uh, this looks more like... There's, this looks more like a live file system folder than... Uh, I, I may have to take that back. I don't think this is my actual SD card. I think this is a live um, <coughs> this is a live folder that was made. It would go away when you shut down. EFI. Is this built on Fedora? I, ha I don't, you know, I, haven't, I don't always pay a lot of attention to what actual uh, operating system you know, my, these little rescue discs are built on. <coughs> Maybe it's built on Fedora. Let's see if there's a quick way to find out. I'm looking down here at all the... Sometimes you can just... click on the... You look in here, you, sometimes there'll be something, you know, running in the background that you can tell. About Kipper Sky Rescue Disk, well, it just says what version it is. And, uh, they don't always have, like, I, li I really like to use uh, system monitoring apps to tell me what's going on. I can sh uh, kill, you know, unresponsive apps or anything I need to do. But they don't usually come with these rescue uh, discs. It's what they've always called them as rescue discs. They're not discs anymore. But yeah, you just have a web browser, registry editor, file manager, terminal, screenshot, take a screenshot. That can be real handy in one of these. You can see things that you want to remember. You don't want to have to write it all down like the results or something. Uh, so, no, I don't see any quick and easy way to tell. So network, screen settings, keyboard settings, that's the battery. You can tell that because it looks like a battery. It says 100%. <coughs> okay, so, open up the file manager. See, there's each one of our... Uh, but this is not the entire SD card. I know what's on there. Uh, go to. So I believe this is just a live um, partition, sim simulated partition. I know what to call it, and I can't think. Uh, for that, that's made by uh, the, the rescue. The Linux distro that Kepper Sky is built on. So, uh, but the thing that threw me off there, I opened it up again. 
you got in there and you saw that EFI and I saw Fedora. So I don't see any reason why I would have Fedora in there unless it really is a Fedora distro that it's running on. So it may be. Most of them use other th other distros, the bank, usually the bank based distros. But because uh, they're really lightweight, Fedora can be pretty lightweight if you have a, a lightweight desktop. But that's actually there's the K. That's KDE. So probably wouldn't run on older systems. Well, yeah, I remember it wouldn't run on older systems, and that's why I used used VBA Rescue is just a terminal. Uh, virus scanner. Terminal user doesn't use a uh, full GUI desktop, so uh, it's a CLI terminal app. It has a wizard of sorts and a uh, little bit of graphics in there, and then uh, it actually runs. Once you get through with that, it runs and then it just opens up a terminal window, full screen terminal, and you just run it from there. <coughs> okay, so that's only at 14%, and I've been I've been jabbering. So, uh, I don't know, some of this, it's strange how some of these uh, virus scanners, just, I mean, it's only, it says there, 21.6 megabytes, well, that should have already downloaded in a, in a matter of 10 seconds, you know, is in this, this amount of time, nine, uh, what? It has nine minutes, has it? It says direction, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I've already made two and a half hours of videos today and I can't even talk to you. I shouldn't be doing it, shut up. Uh, it says nine hours and 40 minutes. I don't know if that's how long I expected or how long it's already ran. Not hours, minutes, nine minutes and 45 seconds. But, um, I'm just gonna stop the video and then I'll just start a new one. Once you start going real fast now. Uh, sometimes they do that. <coughs> and, um, uh, when it gets through updating, then I'll come back. Okay. Bye-bye.